Unexcused absences are costing the El Paso Independent School District millions in state funding. The Board of Trustees was presented the district's annual internal audit report at a meeting today, which found upwards of 55,000 absences at five schools alone between July of 2023 and June of 2024. Thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. I'm Andy Morgan. Now, nearly three quarters of those 55,000 absences mm -hmm. coming from a West El Paso High School. That would be Franklin, accounting for approximately 40,000 absences. That is where we find KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar, who attended tonight's meeting. And Jesus, this seems concerning. How is the district handling this? Well, during the meeting, district uh, officials discussed that they have been proactive about the audit findings, taking measures as the audit was taking place. Now, the district's chief internal auditor breaking down several of the issues, but the key ones, like you said, being student absence and student truancy, meaning students are away from the classroom without a valid reason. However, district officials noting that it is hard to pinpoint exactly what the issue is, as this report really is only for five out of the 80 campuses. You know, it's difficult for us to determine what our issue is with attendance. Is it chronic absenteeism or is it system structures and protocols that we're not, you know, following? El Paso ISD's internal audit report showing that from a sample of five schools, student absences are costing them over $3 million. More than half of that loss coming from Franklin High School's over 40,000 unverified absences. It's very unlikely that the district would be able to recapture the 3.2 million. But Sayavedra says they're well positioned to reconcile the audit findings. The audit identifying that the unverified or no notes, no call absences potentially become unexcused after the district falls behind on updating the absence that may have the documentation to excuse it or it was either miscoded altogether. Speaking with the El Paso Teachers Association, they say the district has abandoned systems that helped establish communication with parents and students. For, for an administrator to blame it on a teacher, I'm sorry that it is not their fault. They're doing all they can to get kids to school. Attendance clerks, you know, I'm not going to blame attendance clerks. Uh, the district um, and their system um, have fallen by the wayside. District officials said they have departments in place that take on those responsibilities like their alpha team and that they want to ensure teachers are supported in the classroom but being able to identify when students missing class is becoming a problem it has to start with them but we also are bound to the law and making sure that our teachers are also balancing their responsibilities when it comes to documenting attendance Now again, this audit only looked at five out of the 80 campuses with Franklin being the bulk of the issues. But during the meeting, district officials did mention they had seen patterns across the district that may be contributing to this. Now, uh, to learn more, you can visit our website, ktsm.com. Reporting from West El Paso, Jesus Baldassar, KTSM 9 News.